This video segment will describe the five flexible mold materials that TAP Plastics carries so that you will be able to select the one that is best for your project. The five mold materials are premium liquid latex rubber, urethane RTV, silicone RTV, platinum silicone, and silicone putty. RTV stands for Room Temperature Vulcanizing, which means these products will cure to a durable rubber at room temperature without the need of a special oven or heat supply. By the way, all these products are safe for use indoors. You might smell a slight ammonia odor with the latex, but other than that, they are odorless. Each of these mold materials has its own advantages and disadvantages. Let's start with latex. Premium liquid latex rubber is a single component, so no mixing or measuring is required. This makes latex the simplest product of the five. There is no need for measuring cups or stir sticks. Latex is the most economical of the three mold materials. A simple mold like this can be made for about one or two dollars. Latex is also extremely simple to use. Upon opening the container, one only needs to brush thin coats onto the master part, allowing each coat to dry before adding the next coat. In another segment, we will describe this process in detail. Another advantage of latex is that mold release is seldom needed. However, it is always important to test a small, inconspicuous area before covering your master part with latex. The main disadvantage of latex is that it is time consuming. This mold has about five coats of latex. Each coat can take up to two hours to dry, thus making this a project which can take the better part of a day. So while latex is very economical, it is also time consuming. Tap Plastics latex has the highest concentration of latex available, thus requiring fewer coats than other brands. One of these is the original piece of wood and the other is a casting from the latex mold. Can you tell which is which? This is the real one and this is the casting. Note the intricate detail that latex can pick up from the original and transfer to the cast part. Mold release might have obscured some of this detail. Finally, Latex can only be used on mold shapes that allow the mold to be peeled off like a glove. So latex would not work on a part shaped like this. Latex is simple, easy to use, and economical. However, it is time consuming and provides for only certain mold shapes. It comes in three sizes, pint, quart, and gallon. The next mold material is urethane RTV. Urethane's strength is its durability. As can be seen from this mold, it is a very tough and strong product. It is suitable for casting concrete, plaster, polyester, and urethane. Urethane is a two-part product with an easy one-to-one -one mix ratio. It is low viscosity, so it is easy to mix and does not trap bubbles. One of the biggest advantages of urethane is that it hardens by a curing process rather than a drying process. So this mold, though it is much thicker than the latex mold, was done in one simple pour. In fact, this mold probably required less than 15 minutes of labor. Urethane molds are more expensive than latex because the urethane is costlier and much more material is used for each mold. One key aspect of urethane is that it always requires a mold release. Urethane will stick to most anything, so a good mold release is always required. Poly's 2300 is what we recommend. Another advantage of urethane is that it can easily be used to make multi-part molds for shapes that cannot be done with latex. So urethane allows molds to be made of almost any shape. Urethane is extremely durable, has an easy mix ratio, and dramatically reduces labor time over latex. TAP Urethane RTV comes in three sizes. Quart kit, two quart kit, and a two gallon kit. 
The third mold material is TAP silicone RTV system. This is more expensive than urethane, but has some distinct advantages. The first is that it virtually never needs a mold release. Silicone does not stick to most items, so there is seldom a need to prepare the master part. Also, nothing sticks to silicone, so mold release is not required in the casting process. This reduces cost and labor. Silicone cures like urethane, so a mold like this can be done in a single pour in just a few minutes. Silicone can also be used to make two-part molds, and with the Thixotropic additive, can be used to make economical brush-on mold. Silicone RTV has this blue hardener which has a six to eight hour cure time. The hardener to silicone ratio is 10 to 1 by weight and 9 to 1 by volume, so good measuring cups are a necessity. For small batches, syringes provide accurate measurement of the hardener. Silicone molds are durable and flexible so they can handle deep undercuts. However, because silicone is so viscous, someone might think that it would not pick up detail. Actually, silicone picks up detail ten times smaller than your eye can see. This is a 45 record from which a silicone mold was made. This is the casting from that mold, and believe it or not, it can be played on a phonograph. So for maximum molding options and the freedom from a mold release, silicone might be the perfect choice. It comes in three sizes, one pound, four pound, and eight pound tubs plus hardeners. Fourth, we come to tap platinum silicone. Platinum silicone is the most expensive of the four mold materials, but it has several superior qualities. Outstanding tear resistance. Greater resistance to chemicals for longer production runs and longer mold life. And excellent dimensional stability for reproducing extremely accurate parts. But perhaps the biggest advantages of our platinum silicone are the super user-friendly features. First, it is an easy 1 to 1 mix ratio versus the 10 to 1 of most other silicones. But most of all, it has a super low viscosity. This means it is easy to mix. But even more important, it does not require any special de-airing processes like other silicones do. You can measure, mix, and pour the silicone and the bubbles will self-release. The finished product is so bubble-free it looks like it was vacuum treated. The 1 to 1 mix ratio and the low viscosity make this perhaps the easiest mold making material on the market. You will also notice how flexible this silicone is. Molding rubber is measured in a hardness scale. Typical tin cured silicone such as TAP Silicone RTV has a hardness of about 28. TAP Platinum Silicone has a hardness of only 8 so it is suitable for any application requiring a very soft rubber material. You can also make brush-on molds with TAP Platinum Silicone. The advantage of a brush-on mold over a block mold is that it uses less than half the material, thereby reducing your cost by over 50%. One final feature of Platinum Silicone needs to be highlighted. In a platinum mold, clear polyester resin such as clear light casting resin cure without the tackiness and alligatoring common to other rubber molds. Parts come out of the mold with beautiful finishes. This sphere is an example. Even small volume parts such as these jewels cure with gem-like finish. This makes platinum silicone the product of choice for clear castings. Finally, we have Easy Mold Silicone Putty. It is a two-part putty mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio. It has a quick three to five minute cure time and is ideal for small, quick molds. It is also food safe. So which mold material is right for you? There may not be one right answer. It could depend on your personal preferences. If you want something simple and economical, have a simple mold shape and a lot of time, then latex made sense. If you want a tough mold and don't mind working with mold releases, then urethane would be a good choice. 
If you want to eliminate the mold release steps, want maximum flexibility, and want to keep your labor time to a minimum, then one of our silicones might be right for you. Whichever one you choose, you will discover the need to practice and experiment. Then in no time, you will be enjoying professional results.